Hello, everyone. I'm Augusta Myers. Let's take a brief look at what's been going on in city-related news lately. City leaders broke ground on a $12 million renovation at Los Altos Park and softball fields this past week. Among the key amenities of Phase 1 construction, five new softball fields, a new restroom and concessions, and improved vehicle access and parking. Construction is set to start this fall and be completed next summer. Plans for Phase 2 design and construction have not yet been determined. The city's Department of Municipal Development Metro Security Division, with the help of Albuquerque Fire Rescue, have trained nearly 40 Metro Security officers on the use of Narcan to save victims of an overdose. All Metro Security mobile vehicles are fully supplied with life-saving naloxone doses, also known as Narcan, and officers have already administered Narcan in a few life-saving events. The city's looking for community members to participate in collecting data as part of a regional effort to map where people are most at risk during extreme heat waves. Using heat sensors mounted on their own cars or bicycles, volunteers will traverse their neighborhoods on very hot days, recording data to help the city identify where it can act to protect vulnerable neighborhoods from extreme heat risk now and in the future. And this past week, limited service resumed on ABQ Ride's commuter routes, which operate at peak hours to get riders to and from work. Some of those routes are being serviced by sunbans as opposed to city buses in order to meet current levels of demand and still observe public health orders in place for transit services. Each van or bus operates at 50 percent capacity and masks are still required for all passengers and drivers. Local residents can now see the most problematic properties across Albuquerque. Launched by City Code Enforcement, the new Problematic Properties Program tracks the most 15 substandard properties in the city, which often become hotspots for criminal activity and drain city resources. The new online list gives neighbors easy access to updates about these properties. Just visit cabq.gov forward slash problematic properties. And to follow up to a report on a story we brought you recently about the city's recent Recyclose event. Solid Waste's Keep Albuquerque Beautiful program helped city residents recycle more than five tons of gently used clothing to be donated to Locker 505, a clothing bank that assists students in need every year so they can focus on learning. This year, for the first time ever, donations filled up a 90-foot bin. And that will do it for this week's City News for now. Be sure to join us again for our next installment right here on One Albuquerque Media. I'm Augusta Myers. Thanks for joining me.